and citizens of the internet. This is Rendog coming at you from just in front of Mama Dog's greenhouse in this Let's Play Minecraft survival series. In the previous episode, we were making some epic improvements to my mama's greenhouse. And in this episode, my friends, we are going to continue working on the greenhouse, but we are also going to be crafting a redstone secret entrance underneath the fountain that is going to sit in front of the greenhouse. And that secret entrance is going to lead to an underground cave pathway that is going to take us directly to the position underneath the life tree in the mole hole. It is going to be a secret way to get into the mole hole and it is going to be freaking sweet cyber dogs we have got a ton to do in this episode so sit back and relax i hope you got your tasty beverage and a bowl of crunchy ass snacks let's play some freaking minecraft survival man I cannot wait to get going today, guys. I'm in such an excited mood. And guys, if you have not, if you guys are looking at this and saying, Rendog, what in the jazz has happened to your glass? That tells me that you have not watched the previous episode of Mole Hole Maintenance. Because in that episode, we did a whole bunch of work with stained glass panes and we did a whole bunch of work on the greenhouse itself. And if you haven't watched that episode, I'm angry with your butthole. And if you don't go watch that Mole Hole Maintenance episode, I'm gonna stick this clay pot right between the crack of your ass. You hear me, you bastards? <laughs> but no, but seriously, if you guys want to see how we uh, basically came to the design that you see now, if you guys haven't seen uh, Mole Hole Maintenance episode, I think it's episode 8, there's a link in the description box below. Go check it out, guys. Did a ton of work on the greenhouse in that episode. But in this episode, my friends, we have got a ridiculous amount to do. Uh, and I cannot wait to get going, man. I want to make a redstone secret entrance to a cave system that leads directly to the mole hole. And uh, it is basically going to sit in this location over here. And uh, I've been playing around with it, trying to come to a design that I kind of like. And I think there is a design that, I, that, that I'm pretty happy with. Um, but before we get going on that, guys, I want to show you some of the changes that I've made since the previous episode of Survival. For those of you guys who have not watched mole hole maintenance yet. Uh, what you can see we here, what we have done is added green stained glass panes to the windows of the greenhouse and I think it looks absolutely awesome. This was a suggestion by a cyber dog to make the green stained glass panes sort of go up in a gradient type way to, to basically to indicate the algae and the moss growing on the glass. It starts at the sort of bottom of the glass and grows um, upwards toward, uh, towards clean uh, glass at the top. So I really really like how that's turned out. Um, there's also been a whole bunch of subtle changes to this design also. One of you guys suggested adding a solid block underneath the pillars and I thought you know it's such a subtle change but here, here you can see another um, solid block added below the pillar it's such a subtle change but I think it, it just it helps to break up the skirting of stone walls that we've got going on at the top and the bottom and it pronounces the pillars a little bit more also which I think is just amazing and that was you know it, it's such a subtle uh, suggestion it's such a small change but I think it's made a huge difference to the design um, of the the greenhouse in general and even here we've added another block over here to break up the entrance and, and already that's made the entrance look a whole lot freaking sweeter now one of the biggest suggestions that you guys made and which I implemented um, was this underwater canal over here uh, with lily pads on top i thought that was such a beautiful idea that i had to try it out and i'm very very happy with how it's turned out now uh, one of you guys also suggested adding glowstone underneath these lily pads to get a really really cool effect so i think that's what i'm going to do right now uh, to start this episode off let's let's get some glowstone added underneath these lily pads and uh, when the night comes it, it should look pretty sweet um, but before I get to that guys, oh man, I've got so much to show you. Uh, another one of you guys suggested adding like a shelf to the greenhouse because basically what we've got here guys is we have different um, size of sizes of flowers, right? We've got these really tall flowers which are two blocks high and which we can use bone meal to create more flowers from. And we, then we've got these flowers that are one block high. And what we want to do is put these little flowers into uh, into a clay pot, right? And I thought, you know, what better way to do this than to add uh, 
the, a shelf running all the way through the greenhouse. And of course, um, this is based on a suggestion one of you guys made. And then check it out, man. We can put our little flowers into the pots that run along the shelf of the greenhouse. And it just helps to fill out the greenhouse a little bit better. And I've actually set up these shelves in a very clever way. And I was so excited to show you this, man. I'm actually, I'm so stoked with this little design. So what I'm doing is I'm hanging, uh, inverted commas, these shelves off off the, the, the outside wall foundations that we've got running around the circumference, right? So off the foundations that are holding up the roof, we're gonna, we're gonna have a little, a little outcrop of, of stone wall here that is gonna hold up our shelves, right? So we're just gonna run these shelves all the way around the circumference. And as you can see, uh, th there is another one of these little arms that, that are coming off the, the, the foundations to hold up the shelves. And I think that that is just really freaking sweet. Check it out, man. Uh, the shelves are just gonna run all the way around the circumference. And we're just gonna put a whole bunch of clay pots all the way on top of it. And it's just gonna help to fill out the greenhouse a lot. As well as, as, well as being practical, it helps to fill out the greenhouse also. I mean, just look at that already. The greenhouse feels a lot fuller when you go inside. Check it out, man. You know, it's just feeling really awesome. And then once we've got all of our clay pots set up or running along this shelf, it's going to look even more freaking pimp. And I just, I just, I just love the way the shelf is held up by these little arms coming off the pillar, man. So freaking sweet. Loving that jazz, man. All right, guys. So next up, why don't we get uh, some glowstone blocks into our canal? So if we go every second lily pad, let's have a look. How does that, how does that turn out in the end? Um, hmm. I think I, I definitely want a, a glowstone block at this corner over here. So we might have to go every third lily pad to keep it symmetrical. Let's have a look. Does that keep it symmetrical? Yeah, that keeps it per, um, almost perfectly symmetrical. Not quite symmetrical, but that'll do. Let's try going every second one. All right. Yeah, that works for me. That works for me. Every second one works for me. So let's just um, let's just open up the holes here, and we can stick the glowstone in there. Oh, this is going to be so awesome at night. Oh my goodness, man. Uh, I think we're also going to have to add a chandelier or something, though. I don't know if this glowstone is going to be enough to to stop zombies spawning in here. I think we'll have to hang some chandeliers from the roof. I think, which is you know, which is going to be totally sweet. So I'm totally I'm totally okay with that, man. Um, let's just get all of the glowstone installed for this side of the, the canal. And another glowstone in there. And then we'll put a glowstone there. One, two glowstone there. One, two glowstone there. Okay, so it is both of the canals are actually symmetrical, which is very cool. Didn't didn't plan for it to, to be like that, but it looks like it's turned out that way. So that's a, that's, that's a win. I'm going to take that as a symmetry win. Um, don't mind if I freaking do. Right, let's get this glowstone in here. Oh man, already that is looking really awesome. This is like, this is such a pimped out botanical garden. It is so awesome. And let's just get the, oh, check it that. That is so cool, man. It kind of reminds me of like a fish tank or an aquarium or something. Oh, look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. Absolutely awesome. And can't wait till the sun goes down and we can actually see what this is going to look like. Uh, how this glowstone is going to react when the sun is down. That is going to be awesome. Okay, sweet guys. Well, I'm pretty happy with that. We've installed the shelves. I've installed the glowstone. That's what I wanted to do in the greenhouse this episode. And uh, hopefully we'll get some time to, to finish off the glass walls also. Um, we'll definitely get some time to make some, some more green glass. So in fact, why don't we do that next, guys? I've actually got everything we need here in the, in the old inventory. Let's head over to Griswold's workshop to make some some uh, more green glass. Now, if you guys haven't seen molehill maintenance, basically what we need to do is to make green glass. All we need to do is um, cook up some cactus, right? Which we get, which we are getting from that cactus farm next to the greenhouse. Then what we're going to do what, when this cactus cooks, it creates something called cactus green. And what we then do is we take that cactus green to uh, a crafting table, um, which crafting table. Well, we'll take it to Griswold's kitchen again. <laughs> what we do is then surround this cactus green with glass, and that gives us green stained glass. And then if we want to make uh, green stained glass panes, we just make normal panes out of the green glass, and that gives us green stained glass panes. 
which is epic so now we know how to get stained glass windows very very simple actually really really easy and all we have to do is cook down uh, this cactus all those cactuses into cactus green and when that is done uh, we'll be able to finish off the windows of our greenhouse which is freaking so sweet guys i gotta tell you man this is this is turned i didn't think that this is going to turn into such an epic project but this is one of my most enjoyable projects that i've done in a really long time i'm just absolutely loving this and i think number one because it's dedicated to my mama and i, I have like a, a lot of inspiration to do this as well as possible for my mama and uh, number two i just think it's it's one of the most detailed projects we've ever done it's really small but a lot of detail is going into this project way more than anything else we've done so i'm really really enjoying just trying to make this thing as aesthetically pleasing as possible even from the smallest minutest uh, point of view um, you know and I, that's just really sweet man I'm freaking loving this project and, and I'm so glad to see like tons of you guys are enjoying it also man that's uh, that is sweet but anyway guys <laughs> let's move on to the next step for today's episode and that is going to be to make this redstone secret entrance you know a ton of you guys have uh, have been saying to me why don't you do more stuff with redstone and the reason is because I'm a freaking redstone noob and I have no idea what I'm doing uh, but you know what if we don't actually start experimenting with redstone we're never going to get better at, at uh, doing something with redstone and we we haven't even done anything with redstone in this season yet so you know what guys season three it is time to do some freaking redstone work and what i've done guys is i've used these uh, stone brick slabs to basically map our way all the way back to the mole hole and this is so awesome guys seriously it took me a little bit of a, a bit of a, a while to actually do this and to figure out what was the correct way to go but i eventually found the right way and this literally takes us to right underneath the life tree do you guys remember from season one when we before the life tree was even born we went uh we dug downwards from the mole hole and we found uh, this giant ass cave system over here but underneath the life tree um, is the entrance to the mole hole obviously so this is going to give us um here it goes it goes down this way this gives us a secret passageway from mama dog's greenhouse directly into the heart of the mole hole which is really really awesome there's a freaking enderman over here though i don't know if i can take him um i think i, I think i'm just not gonna take him <laughs> um if you know what i'm saying man i'm 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 gonna just, I'm gonna just take it easy. Um, but it, where? Uh oh, have I lost my way? What's up, Enderman? Don't mind me, dude. I don't have any armor. You, you and me are not, not gonna be rumbling today. We are not rumbling today, bro. Nope, we are not gonna rumble. As tempted as I am to try to take out your ass, I'm gonna not do it. What in the jazz? Okay, well I thought that I'd. Oh man, I'm lost now. Yeah, I thought that I'd, I'd actually map this out properly, but I think I failed. <laughs> um, yeah, I def I've definitely failed. My bad! Oh, what the jazz? Oh, God. Guys, seriously, I thought that I'd, uh, I thought I was so prepared in this episode, but it looks like um, I've jazzed this one up. So I tell you what, guys, I'm going to complain this bad boy. I'm going to try to get out of this freaking cave system and uh, head over to <laughs> to the life tree. And uh, we'll, we'll dig our way through from there to see if we can actually find our way to the freaking th this passageway, man. <laughs> I'll see you guys on the other side of this freaking complain. Complain! All right, Cyberdogs, I think that I have finally been able to map the freaking passageway from Mama Dog's greenhouse to the mole hole, to the life tree. And uh, let me show you exactly how I did it, right? Well, I, I broke a hole over here next to the life tree, came down over here, um, and, and this is basically where we come out, right over here, right? So we've got this ladder that sort of takes us back up into the mole hole, right? So this is the sort of secret entrance into the mole hole, uh, underneath the mole hole castle. And of course, this is where uh, there, there is a, a freaking railway line here also. But to get to this point, we need to go in this direction, right? We, could, we can either go down this way, um, which is basically the giant ass ravine, or we can go down this way, right? And, and if we, if we actually dig straight down here, there you see uh, is one of the <laughs> one of the cookies that I left um, to try and figure out how to get back here. But um, obviously, I, I wasn't looking up and I didn't spot exactly where to go. So check it out, right? If we fall down here, we get back to our our, our final cookie, 
and that is how we get to the mole hole from uh, the greenhouse, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to, to make this, this secret passageway look like a secret passageway. We'll probably like line it with some wooden beams to make it look like a sort of tunnel. And then when it gets to this point, we will build a ladder all the way up there and then you'll you'll go up the, the that other ladder to get into the mole hole and we'll, we'll maybe we'll make like a secret uh, uh redstone entrance into uh that position next to the mole hole uh, next to the life tree also just so that you know how to get in you know you pre press a button and a and a trap door opens or something like that man but for now guys at least we now know exactly how to get back to uh the life tree from the greenhouse and all we got to do is follow these these cookies that i've left over here and uh what yeah i'm going to turn this this little passageway into a sweet ass uh passageway i'll probably do that uh for a molehole maintenance episode or i don't know maybe we'll do it for a live stream or something like that i don't know uh but that's probably going to be quite a lot of work but for now i really want to focus on getting this redstone entrance done man because that is going to be freaking sweet so uh you know we need to fix all of this right we need to make it look like a sweet ancient uh passageway that's been there for, for millennia and uh it's it's it when when the mole hole was uh was under the control of an evil baron that is how the uh that's how the rebels got into the, into the mole hole and took over the castle man I, i'm gonna stick with that story because uh that's a pretty sweet story <laughs> all right cyber dogs here we are in front of the position where the secret redstone entrance is going to be and i have a freaking confession to make guys um, I actually tried to do this on camera now and I failed so freaking hard that I'm actually gonna start again It it was painful. Let me tell you it, it it took an entire minecraft day And I failed so freaking hard that you guys would have face palmed So hard you probably would have broken your freaking skulls So basically what I did is I took apart all of the nonsense that I created and I think that I know exactly what I'm doing now guys So let's do some freaking redstone crafting right now. All right So what I've got in my inventory, I've got some some redstone torches i've got a sticky piston i've got a redstone repeater also just in case and i got all of this jazz from our tool chest in the storage rooms and let me explain to you guys exactly what we are trying to do over here okay so this this thing over here this space over here is going to be a fountain feature and in the middle of that fountain feature is going to be this pressure plate and i want everything to be completely hidden um it's this is going to be covered in water you're barely going to be able to see it so you won't even know that there is a secret entrance here unless you watch this series <laughs> and what i want to happen when i stand on this pressure plate is number one for this block to retract and number two for me to be pushed into the open space so that I fall down into this position over here underneath the fountain and then I can run and go into the secret um, passageway that is going to take us all the way into the mole hole via that cave system over there. So that is the design that we are currently going for guys. So what we need this um, pressure plate to do is number one retract this block and number two push us into this space so that we fall down that hole and then everything has to close again right so that is the freaking mission that we're, we're, we're we are currently un, um, undertaking over here guys so let's get going firstly let's work on the retracting uh, sticky piston which is going to be sitting in this location over here right now how how are we going to make this freaking sticky piston activate well that's pretty freaking easy most of you guys know redstone torch will do the business so the sticky piston has now attached itself to that block so if we take away its redstone signal you, you can see that it is now moving that block back and forth so that's exactly what we want this to be doing but we want this to to happen when we stand on that pressure plate that sits in this position over here so next step for us guys is to get a redstone signal running from this pressure plate into this block over here which is um which is holding the torch so this this is i think um in the, the in the the world of redstone geniuses is called uh, an inverted signal i think it's called and basically what you need to do is run a redstone signal into the block on which the torch the redstone torch sits and that when you stand on that pressure plate that little bit of redstone signal that the pressure plate um generates will actually turn off the torch uh, temporarily for a very short period of time which is obviously exactly what we're trying to do here right so this block with the pressure plate on it we uh, sits directly above this line of redstone over here right and what we're going to do is just loop the the redstone around like this 
because what we need this redstone to do is come in a straight line into the back of this block over here, right? So let's get that redstone running all the way around like this into the back of this block. And basically this block is being affected by this redstone torch. So we are going to be affecting this block to, uh, to have an effect on that redstone torch. If you guys are freaking picking up what I'm putting down up in this jazz, man. Um, all right, so let's get the let's get out of here, man. <laughs> Trapped by the freaking piston. Um, all right, so let's let's test if our if our redstone circuit has actually worked. So when we stand on this pressure plate right here, we should see the sticky piston retract. Bam! Awesome. Okay, so that works beautifully. Now the next step for this process is to to have a sticky piston push us from this position that we're standing down this hole like this, right? And when we fall down the hole, as you can see, as soon as we take pressure off the pressure plate, this will close again. And the reason that we need this to close is because if this is going to be a water feature, we don't want any water flowing down into this passageway or, you know, potentially breaking any of the redstone circuitry down there. So next step for us, guys, is to install, is to install a second piston in this location, in this position over here. So let's just get the, the piston installed facing in this direction. And you know what, we could actually, to hide the piston even further, we could move this piston uh, one, one block back, right? Because this will also be a sticky piston, right? Put a bit of mossy cobblestone over there. And then, when we hit this pressure plate, if we wire this correctly, this piston will push this, um, will we'll push this bit of moss stone into the into our, into our position over here and we should be pushed down that hole uh, in one in one swift movement so let's run a line of redstone from underneath sharing basically the position underneath the pressure plate all the way up here underneath that piston and if everything has been set up correctly we should be pushed off this location by this piston. All right, let, let's try. All right, so something went wrong over there. I think maybe what we need to do is run the redstone into the block underneath the, the sticky piston. Is that going to work? Or do we need to run the redstone directly into the sticky piston? There? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that, there, that worked absolutely beautifully. Okay, so again, the redstone is going into the block underneath the sticky piston. So the block that is affecting the sticky piston. And that is why, um, that's why the sticky piston gets a signal when we stand on the pressure plate. And this actually works beautif beautifully. Check it out, guys. Bam. And we fall down into the secret passageway. Absolutely freaking perfect. That is exactly how I wanted this to work. Oh man, that is awesome. Okay, well, I can tell you guys the first time around, um, I failed really hard doing this really hard <laughs> so i'm pretty pleased with myself to have actually got it right this time so this is looking really really awesome now all we need to do is make this feature over here look like a water feature so let's head back to our uh, our chest over here and pick up some crafting materials let's pick up some cobblestone slabbage um stone stairs let's use a bit of that i've already got some water in here and let's pick up some walls also do we have any mossy cobblestone walls left i don't think we have any we've got cobblestone walls any mossy cobblestone walls no so let's just make a few more mossy cobblestone walls like so i don't know how many we'll need we'll just make 12. okay and we, we didn't need to use a redstone repeater so that is awesome um so actually a very uncomplicated redstone build, which kind of makes me feel that we should be doing way more redstone stuff because it's actually not that hard to do. You know, something like this is so freaking simple. I mean, it doesn't get, it doesn't get simpler than this. I mean, let's be honest, man. I mean, this is about as, as, as freaking basic as it comes. <laughs> All right. So what we need to do, guys, is if we don't want to cut off the, off the circuits, we have to use slabs above the actual connections like this, right? So wherever... Wherever there's redstone, we need to use um, slabbage, and then we can add normal blocks um, everywhere, everywhere else, right? So let's add some normal blocks over here like this, and we'll cover the shame of this piston with some slabbage, I think. 
yeah i mean we can we can sort of work on the aesthetics uh, a little bit later let's just make sure that um once we get the water in here that everything is going to look sweet and everything's going to work exactly the way that we want it to let's just clear away all of this dirt because this dirt can definitely become um moss stone this is like the this is like the bottom of the fountain right it's obviously covered in algae and, and whatnot and what we can do is just alternate the odd block of this with normal cobblestone also just to try and promote that uh, that you know that authentic look that we're going for and freaking trap myself in here though so let's just get a, a few normal blocks in here also so wheat and just complete the slabbage on this side and looks like we got to put another hmm. looks like we got to put another hmm this one is this one is interesting i don't know if we're going to be able to because i think if we put i think if we put a, a block of slab in here it's going to cut off the circuit but the sun has gone down we need to sleep griswold get inside dude close your doors man don't you know every night is freaking battle night <laughs> freaking griswold butthole all right there we go all right let's let's head back oh my goodness you see what i'm talking about how did you spawn griswold dude die you bastards jeez how long did those zombies last in the sunshine beatrice you're still alive thank bajingo all right <laughs> let's head back to our build guys oh my goodness tell you what every single night in the series makes me freak out so bad all right let's have a look all right so yeah this this bit of slabbage has actually cut off the the circuit over there right so i think um how are we gonna do this man looks like we're gonna have to run cobblestone slabbage like this there we go all right that works and then we could probably put some slabbage like this right all right that looks pretty cool it looks like a sort of old fountain you know like i, I dig that man i i really like how this looks maybe what we can do is just replace this area over here with some cobblestone and some mossy cobblestone something like that Right, we'll, we'll mess around with that a, a little bit later on or so. We could probably... Okay, so that's where the piston is. So this definitely has to be slabbish like that, right? Okay, sweet. That's looking awesome. And I think what we could probably do now is um, create like some sort of a water feature, right? Above the sticky piston. So let's see if we can actually hide the shame of the sticky piston. Um... Let's like, let's try and make, let's try and make like a, like a little water fountain of some kind, right? Maybe if we use, okay, so the pistons were definitely working there, which is sweet. Maybe if we use something like, why don't we try something like this? So we just make like literally as if this thing is going to be spitting out the water, right? We just make like a really simple little fountain over here. Yeah, that looks pretty awesome right that looks pretty sweet maybe we can add to it a little bit like this gets a little bit messed up at the back here though yeah a little something like that right i don't know maybe these these ones are a little bit too much i reckon so let's get rid of these little walls and i mean you know I'm, i'll mess around with this design try and make it look a little bit better but for now i just want to make sure that when we stick water into this whole system that um, everything's still going to work okay but that looks pretty awesome i think okay so let's let's um use these stone uh stairs to actually sort of seal off this this whole thing so i think let's do it like Let's do it like this, right? 
All right, so we can still, what we're going to need to do is raise all of these. Like so. And then we can build our walls. Let's see if I can do this without noobing out. Come on, baby. Because I still want to put some, some flowers or something in front of this wall. I wish we could get mossy cobblestone stairs. I don't think we can, though. I don't think it's possible, fortunately. Alright, that's looking pretty awesome, right? And this gives us, like... Now we know exactly where to fall, right? We just we just sort of run over here and fall down there. Okay, that's looking sweet. I'm, I'm digging that, I'm digging that. Okay, so let's try add some water to this whole system. So if we add a water source to the top here... No, no, not here. To the to the very top let's see so the water seems to fill everything which is very awesome okay I'm digging that I'm digging that that seems to be working really nicely the only problem with this is that we're not going to be able to get any trees or anything like that in here unfortunately but that looks pretty awesome. Okay, so let's just make sure that this still works, though. So if we come down here. Bam! There we go. Beautiful. And it closed quick enough so that we didn't lose um, any... That none of the redstone stuff got damaged down here. So that is sweet. Let's just make sure all of this is torched up so no zo um, zombies or, or mobs spawn down here. And now I guess what we need to do is just seal off this area... I think we probably need to... So we're... We're falling through here, right? So... Let's just make the tunnel. Or, or the start of the tunnel, anyway. There we go! Sweet! Okay. But, oh, yeah. Unfortunately, I don't think there's anything we're going to be able to do about this. Because we don't have, like, a cover or whatever, like we get in, in Feed the Beast, right? There's nothing we can really do to, to cover this position over here. Other than getting rid of this torch, changing these blocks to mossy cobblestone instead, and reinserting the... We're going to have to dig our way out of here, though. And we need to put the redstone back in there also. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. This is not good. This is not good. Alright. There we go. There we go. And reinstall the redstone. And we can just swim up here, which is awesome. Block that off. Okay. Sweet. So that looked like it actually worked. Which is awesome. You know, another option that we have here... Um, if this fountain is, like, way too much. Which, I don't know, I feel like maybe it's it's too much. Maybe what we want to try and do is just add these, um... Just add water, like... At the bottom of the fountain area, so that, it, so that it's not this, like, giant-ass fountain of water, if you know what I mean. So let's try, to, let's just, let's just experiment with that, man. Let's just have a look what that'll look like. So, for example, if we just added water here and here. And maybe this way we, we'll be able to add some plants and stuff here. If we do it in a more subtle way like this, right? Oh, no, 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 no. That does not work. And if we put it there. No. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. I feel I feel like this is better this way, right? What do you guys think, man? So we saw we saw the fountain in all its glory, which was kind of cool, and now we sort of got this vibe going on over here, which is also kind of also kind of cool. I dig it. Maybe the water level needs to be lower. So maybe the water level needs to be Oh, we can't actually make it lower, fortunately. 
All right, well, I tell you what, guys, I'm going to sort of experiment with this off camera, um, try and find a configuration that I'm happy with. Although I have to say that I think I am leaning toward this configuration that we've got going on over here, but not, not in that position. I think I'm kind of digging um, what we are doing over here. I think I like that the most. Sweet. Oh man, that is epic. Okay, so it looks like, guys, we have managed to make this redstone secret entrance way actually work, which is the most awesome. And uh, now what I'm going to be doing is working on the passageway that leads all the way back to the life tree over there. But this is epic. And we've got our glowstone down here in the greenhouse, which is a freaking sweet. Maybe those zombies came from the greenhouse, actually. All right, so let's test this one more time. Bam! Kaplam! Awesome! <laughs> oh, that is so sweet. Oh, I love that, man. That is awesome. Okay, so, um, while we're down here, actually, why don't we just try and cover up what we can to try and make it look more, more authentic, right? We can't put a block here because it'll cut off the redstone circuit. But already that looks a little bit better. We could change these these blocks over here for mossy cobblestone or so. I mean, after all, it is a secret entrance. We do need to have some, like, wiring and stuff around here for it to actually work properly, if you know what I mean. Even in a, a normal castle, there would be levers and, and chains and stuff like that, so... So I don't mind. All right, there we go. That is looking sweet, man. And this takes us straight into the, the this passageway that leads directly to the mole hole, man. That is so awesome. I can't believe I did it, man. <laughs> I'm so freaking stoked at the moment. This is this is awesome. And uh, all I need to do now is start working on this passageway. Just make the passageway look a little bit sweeter. Um, but my suspicions are that nighttime is approaching and is probably on us. So let's just get the jazz out of here. Um, swim up here and replace the block over over there awesome and let's just get into the i'll let i'll let the night go down i'll let the sun go down and uh we won't we won't stay much longer because um you know freaking zombies can spawn and own our npcs and griswold dude you need to close your door man you seriously need to learn to close your door were you born in a barn grizzy were you born in a barn dude freaking butthole <laughs> He's like, no, no, it wasn't. Right, let's have a look, man. Let's let's go into our green hot house at night. And oh, it is looking so awesome and it is so peaceful in here. This is just beautiful. It is so peaceful in this greenhouse. I am loving this jazz. Oh man. So freaking sweet. I love it, man. I'm so happy right now with the, the, the design of this greenhouse. Well, guys, I tell you what, man. I think I'm probably going to do another molehole maintenance episode on the greenhouse. I'm going to get um, uh, clay pots added to, to our shelf all the way around. I'm going to finish off the glass walls. I'm going to work a little bit on the fountain to try get it looking really, really sweet. And you know what we probably want to do is add some glowstone and stuff in here also now that I think about it. Sweet. But uh, it looks like we need to sleep the night away, though, <laughs> before something bad happens. So uh, let's head, head let's head over to old Grizzy's apartment. Uh, he's still alive, right? Grizzy, dude, there he is. All right, just gonna go check on Beatrice, guys. I think I'm gonna have to end the episode here. Uh, my brain is freaking fried from all that redstone circuitry, but I'm so freaking glad that I managed to to actually get that done. Pretty proud of myself, actually. That's uh, a project that I didn't think I was gonna get right. <laughs> I, I thought that it would take me at least like three or four tries to get right, but it only took me one try. One failure, actually, before I got it right. So, uh, pretty freaking stoked with how this has turned out. And I would love to get your your guys' feedback in the comment section below, man. What do you think of this sweet-ass secret entrance way we've got going on over here? Taking us directly to uh, to the life tree in the mole hole, man. This is an ancient passageway that nobody knows about. And if you didn't watch the series, you, you would have no idea. I mean, look at this. Check how well hidden it is. You would have no idea that this pressure plate over here literally sends you into an underground secret passageway that will take your butthole straight to the mole hole straight to underneath the life tree direct access into the freaking mole hole man i mean if the zombies ever need a way to invade the mole hole they have it now <laughs> but guys i tell you what man i'm gonna end the episode here my brain is frazzled i really hope you have enjoyed this episode of redstone crafting as much as i have and if you have you hit that freaking like button and if you haven't subscribed yet you hit that subscribe button 
or I'm gonna shove a mossy cobblestone, a very moist, very slimy mossy cobblestone straight up your, your freaking butthole. And you don't want that happening, man. Let me tell you, you really don't want that happening. That is an infection waiting to happen. You know what I'm saying? Guys, this has been Rain Dog playing Minecraft Survival. Really hope you have enjoyed it. Cannot wait to see you in the next video. Goodbye, my friends.